after maybe two or three months, I started noticing a range of age, which mm -hmm. for me, it's like from 26, 27 till 35. Mm -hmm. People that are in that stage in your life where either you want to buy a house or you want to move in with your partner, you want to buy a car, mm -hmm. and you look at your salary and to the future progression of your career, mm -hmm. and you start thinking, maybe this is not the, the path I should be taking, or you want to start a family, so on and so forward. So that range is today my main audience, and where are they? They are usually either in Instagram or in LinkedIn, when they are already actively searching. Right. So then... Facebook, I would go for the the range after, which is usually 42, 45. Right. It's people that they have a huge uh, professional experience. They thought about it during the last 10 years, but they never did the move. Right. So now they are like, yeah, if I turn 50, that will not happen anymore. So it's either now or never. So I also have yeah. some clients on that range. So Facebook makes sense. So what, what kind of content... Sorry, what kind of content yeah, then cool. works for them? Like, how do, how did you acquire this? Let's say the the millennials, like on on Instagram or something. How how do you acquire? <laughs> well, there's like twenty ta different types of content that can make you connect with them. Um, not only technical stuff that they will feel okay, but this is not that hard. I can understand this. I can learn this. Mm -hmm. So making them understand that these hard skills are learnable. Mm -hmm. right that's one way then connecting with them with your real life like i travel a lot digital nomad or not mm -hmm. so they like those people like traveling it's one of their biggest hobbies let's say so if i show them i am working still traveling working remote um visiting 29 countries at 29 years old mm -hmm. passing five mm -hmm. months in south america still working um 10 sources of income they will consume that kind of content and they will be interested for sure. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, your your own pains, like sharing the pains of your students as well. Uh, what we were speaking about, salary-wise, career progression. They don't find a mentor. They cannot speak about with their managers about receiving and giving feedback. That's right. not something that's common outside of the tech world. Yeah. So they start thinking, okay, maybe there is something better yeah. outside. And then they start. And then they reach out to you thing. or they go to your website. What is like the, the path? Yeah, it depends. Sometimes they reach us directly on social media, like sharing their story and uh, in what stage they are. Mm -hmm. And now usually we always drive these people to our free class because in there they will have a live with me <laughs> explaining what is this about the tech world, op opportunities, etc. Um, or they send us an email directly. Sometimes we receive huge testimonials of people. <laughs> um, and then it depends. We receive people that are completely broken down mm -hmm. because they have mm -hmm. difficult work experiences. There's a lot right. of abuse in right. the job market, yeah, yeah. which was surprising for me. Abuse not only in a salary level, like companies that don't pay, but also emotionally, yeah, yeah, psychologically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we have people that arrive to us really, really messed up. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also try to help on that. But yeah, so they reach out to us. The ideal here is for them to feel almost like a one-on-one. -on -one. That's mm -hmm. why the personal branding helps a lot. It's Mariana behind Techia. Yeah. It's not yeah. just a name of a company. Um, and that makes them feel comfortable reaching out. Mm -hmm. 